Hey everyone, it's your buddy Crypto Profit back with another video. And today we're going to be taking a quick look at VeChain or Vet. If you guys are VeChain holders, make sure to quickly subscribe to the channel, turn notifications on, and like the video for your most up to date recent information and news, as well as really getting those price predictions for June, July, and 2021. We want to keep you guys up to date as quickly as possible with all of these awesome altcoins. VeChain specifically has been doing very, very well. The last 24 hours has been a 7.18% increase, and we're going to kind of cover today why that may be, as well as all the big really uh well there's a lot of big news that has come out recently talking about the future of vchain and i want to cover that all today and talk about why i think vchain is still a great coin to invest in so we see vchain here at the bottom is a cryptocurrency and smart contracts platform focused on supply chain management it allows manufacturers to add sensors such as rfid tags to their products that can then record data onto the vchain blockchain Jumping into the first article, though, I do want to take a look at my own tweet. It's going to be tweeted by me, and it's going to be, if link is valued below $40 by the end of May, I will give someone who retweets and is following 50 links. So all you have to do is jump into the description of this video. Follow me on Twitter. This is the last day to be entered, and I want to make sure I put it on all of my videos today as much as possible uh, so that you guys can take advantage of this and have your chance at 50 link. Because we are not getting above that $40, if you haven't noticed. Uh, so if link is valuable at $40, we will be giving away 50 link. Make sure to retweet the tweet and follow me on Twitter to be entered. Jumping into more about VeChain, though, specifically, obviously, VeChain's done a lot in the last week. Some of this news is a little older, some of it a little newer. Uh, it's all from the last week, though, so a lot going on, and I just wanted to kind of compile it and talk about why it's so big. So this first one is a big one. This talks about consumers are seeking trust all the time. DNV combined with VeChain's public blockchain provides the solution in the real world. From quality to social environmental or ethical integrity of a product brands are struggling to share their efforts and investments my story helps bridge the trust gap by providing consumers instant access to verified facts this is very very big for vchain obviously showing and proving what they are doing out there in the real world making use cases uh you know turn into uh really just factual information and i think you know the utility behind vchain is already substantial and uh you know significant enough that uh, my story is gonna have a great time with them specifically jumping into the next one vchain is proud to see its advanced blockchain technology contribute to the fight against COVID-19 pandemic. EH Cert is at the leading edge of medicine delivering lab results direct to patients. That continues to drive innovation, transforming the world for the better. And we are seeing that, like I said, every single day. Uh, you know, this is all from the last week. This is all tweeted out. And I want to talk more about some of this most recent stuff that we haven't had a chance to talk about yet. So VeChain Toolchain enables businesses to easily implement cutting edge blockchain technology for projects or uh, sorry, products. Uh, for example, Harold Eyewear uses VET blockchain for authentication and traceability. So you can check them out. Make sure your actual glasses or your, I, I don't know if they do sunglasses. Let's see here. They do eyewear. So if you can make sure your eyewear is, you know, from them, you can see the authenticity of your product. Uh, you know, that's going to definitely be a thing here in the upcoming future. I think we are going to see a lot more of this where people want to authenticate, uh, make sure, you know, their stuff is authentic, make sure they're not buying ripoffs or, uh, you know, brands that aren't really the brands they're looking to buy. So it's definitely going to be a big deal. And I think VeChain is really taking advantage of that. Advantage of that, And you can actually see that with the tool chain here, enabling businesses to easily implement that cutting edge blockchain technology. So jumping into the next one, we see VeChain and plastic limitations. So recently, a relevant person from the Environmental Resources Development revealed that the National Commission is formulating the 14th five-year plan of action for plastic pollution control. So this is all about VeChain. VeChain featured uh, blockchain and carbon neutrality and the 10 billion market under the order of plastic limitation. So this is huge as well, talking about VeChain and how they really kind of, uh, you know, fit directly in this category and make things better. Uh, VeChain actually retweeted this tweet and uh, it's definitely a good reason as to why because it really does show, you know, VeChain and plastic limitation really kind of partnering up in a way. So jumping into the next one, I do want to give you guys some you know good looking future here with you know they talked with district government reps as well as shanghai uh, and made a visit to their office so they were glad to discuss about potential transformative collaborations and the vchain blockchain is ever ready to serve the community enterprises governments and more and that's exactly what we see here is some big names getting together and talking and they talk about big things br behind the brewing behind the scenes so stay tuned and i think that's a big thing to really mention uh, they talk about those big things brewing behind the scenes, and we're all excited to see what that might be. But there's some very, very high notch, uh, top notch people here. We have DNV uh, managers and head of blockchain, and then we have VChain's managers. And uh, so 
we actually had, you know, Zhang there as well. So the CFO of VeChain there as well. So like I said, some big, big names there really talking to each other about partnerships, I'm assuming, and uh, what how they can help each other. So I'm very excited to see where VeChain goes. A lot of us are very bullish on VeChain for obvious reasons. Everybody understands that there's so much utility and use case behind each and every VeChain um, holder understands it. And I think that's exactly why people are so excited about where VeChain is going to be going in the near future. If we take a look at the VeChain.com, actually, we're going to change this to .com. And we're going to take a look at the use cases real quick. And then we're going to jump straight into those price predictions for June, July, and 2021. So first off, if you guys don't know, VeChain is the world's leading blockchain application platform driven by enterprise adoption. They talked about how they were founded in 2015. And it is one of the earliest blockchain technology companies in the world with offices in China, Europe, US, Singapore, and Japan. They talk about their proven expertise in many industries, obviously being as diverse as fashion, wine, automobile, food safety, carbon emission reduction, and agriculture. They talk about their easy to deploy blockchain platform and partner network for ecosystem expansion as well. But jumping down to the solutions, this is what everyone wants to know more about because we want to see more solutions really come out about, you know, I guess more factual evidence that they're working on these solutions because we see a couple of them uh, maybe a week at most. Uh, we would love to see, you know, everyday uses, uh, you know, whether it's just, st you know, statistics on what's really been done that day or, uh, you know, just realistically, we want to see some more information come out about this. And I think we have started to see that a lot more of that recently. So we see the digital carbon ecosystem solution, the consumer confidence index platform, the automotive passport solution. They talk about the retail solution, logistics solution, liquefied natural gas solution. And then they talk about digital content distribution solution, electronic document deposit solution and the agriculture solution. So a ton of solutions. And then they talk about more about their, uh, you know, VeChain toll chain that we just talked about in those tweets. Uh, if you want to read more about this, definitely go to VeChain.com. It definitely gives you enough information to do your own research. And I will always say, guys, I am not a financial advisor. I'm not going to give financial advice. So always do your own research and, uh, you know, find out what you think and what you believe. So jumping into this price, we do see still at that 12 cents, a 6.48% increase in the last 24 hours alone, which is great because in the last week, we've gone up 33%. That's a great climb from what was a you know terrible drop or terrible crash that the entire crypto market did have. Uh, you know, looking at the last month, we're still down 40%. So we still do have a while to, uh, you know, a lot of ground to make up, I should say. Jumping back to our previous all-time high, it was at 27.82 cents. Around that 28 cent range, we did have our all-time high. And I do think we are going to get back to that, but just not, you know, overnight. So remember, guys, there is patience in the game of long-term waiting on good projects. So if you are invested in things like VeChain, Cardano, Chainlink, uh, you know, Bitcoins like Ethereum or Bitcoin, you're going to have to wait long-term to see great, great results. Because unfortunately, the market's so volatile right now that uh, it's pretty unpredictable. I will say though, in the upcoming months, I think it'll be much more predictable. Uh, right now, we have a lot of manipulation and FUD. Nobody knows what's going to take place next. There could be a big news article out tomorrow talking about how you know crypto is the hero and uh, we should see everything surge. And then obviously we could see also uh, America put some you know 99% tax on something and next thing you know, crypto is dead. So you know, there's two different ways this could go. And uh, yeah, obviously, ideally, we just keep it... Uh, Keep everything on the uh, just casual uptrend so that we see, you know, great progress over time. And I think that's what's going to take place. We're just going to have a great accumulation period of about, you know, in my opinion, a month to three months here. Um, but we'll see. I do think we're going to continue to see some coins go up during this accumulation period. I think, you know, it's going to be a slow rise for a lot of coins, which is a great time to talk about these coins because that's when you can get in at great rates as well as understand that you're going to make great profits, you know, in three to five months. So, you know, VeChain is looking very, very solid. Uh, I do think by the end of June, we could easily see VeChain pushing closer and closer to about a 15 to 16 cent range. Um, you know, I'm going to be very conservative on these price predictions because like I said, this is an accumulation period. Uh, we are are going to see a lot of people trying to stock up. Um, you know, retail investors hopefully aren't going to continue to sell on these dips and kind of be scared that it's the drop. But, uh, you know, realistically, I think a lot of us are here to stay. We're going to be holding through the long term. And that's why, you know, VeChain is probably one of the best coins for the long term potential because it's been out here since 2015. So it's not going to die. This project's, you know, staying here. It's been through a bear market before. It's not going to just tank on us. Uh, I do I do think, you know, VeChain is one of those coins that uh, has so much value because of that. So by the end of July, I do think we have a chance at reaching our all-time high. I'm going to say between 25 and 30 cents by the end of July on our, you know, really fairly casual or slow uptrend. I think by the end of the year, we could easily see VeChain above a dollar and 
potentially reaching $2 by the end of the year or by the end of the bull market, I should say. So that's going to be my price prediction, my realistic price prediction and reasonable price prediction. So if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, let me know in the uh, you know in the comment section below. I'd love to hear about them. Make sure to quickly subscribe to the channel, turn notifications on, and like the video. I really do appreciate you guys all tuning in and talking about these awesome altcoins with me. Uh, there's a lot to talk about every single day about every single altcoin. So we're continue to make these videos, and you guys are the reason why they're so fun to make. So thank you guys again. I'll see you all in the next one.